Hi, everyone. This is Sandy Crane at the Heart, and today I'm sharing all the projects that I made um, attending the Ultra New Secret Garden Virtual Retreat. So the retreat was over Mother's Day weekend. Um, I'm probably going to try and, and uh, push this out as quickly as possible. But just in case, that's when it was. And so I'll just do a quick recap of some of the products that we got in the kit. Um, we got the Streamlined, which apparently all of the products, aside from the inks, so the you know, the stamp dies and so on. They're exclusive. So as far as I understand, they won't be released to the public. That can change. Sometimes they say that and then they, they change their minds. Um, but the kit came with the Streamlined 3D embossing folder, um, the die set, which I actually really love the die and the, um, the sentiment. I really like the sentiments in the dies. So here is the stamp set, it's a very large stamp set that goes along with um, the embossing folder. And so these uh, cut out, they kind of give you a shadow for this. And then what's really cool is I didn't really notice this, but it gives you this cool like book with other sort of samples in them, giving you some other ideas on how to use it and then what items maybe would go with it. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm probably going to keep um, the streamlined stuff. I mean, I don't always keep everything that I get when I go to a retreat. I just don't. So it just, you know, depends. And then um, we did not use this one, which is the Tiled Blooms 3D embossing folder. And then these two go together. So this is the Bold Blooms die set that goes with the, um, this, actually, no, it doesn't. I'm sorry. Totally wrong. This goes with this. So this is the Secret Garden die set and stencils. So it is seven stencils, and you make, um, a cool like giant flower and then the die set cuts out that flower it's pretty big you can see and then you've got the sentiments that come um, that come in your um, die set so those two go together sorry and then this is the bold blooms die set so this is separate so we've got um, a stamp and die suite and then we've got a stencil and die suite and then just the Bold Blooms die. So in this, you get um, a couple of large kind of like blooms um, and then a couple of smaller ones that you can make smaller flowers. And so, and there's a whole little book in here that tells you how to put everything together. So it's in there, I just, you know. And then we've got um, kind of a sneak peek of some of their new fresh dye Inks, I generally don't buy big ones just because of my space, but it was fun to really to be able to use the big sizes. Um, and so we've got navy and coral red, navy yellow, pool, and olive. And so those were the inks that we got. We also got some brushes too. So let's go into the projects. And so um, we did this card was the first card that we did. And, and so we did some techniques that I had never done before, which is um, inking your embossing folder and then running it through. So you would get ink on it and then you could, since this is 3D, then you would just sort of sponge ink on the top of that 3D. So that was using a combination of the Bold Blooms dye along with the streamlined um, suite of products. And so that one was kind of, fun and different. Um, and then we had uh, Jennifer McGuire's class. And so we made um, this card, which um, I, was it this card? No, this card was a card that I made separately. Sorry. We made this card. Sorry. And so um, whenever she does a class, Jennifer McGuire, my stuff comes out really 
good. She's an excellent teacher. And so um, I really liked how this came out. I think I might use this for, um, you know, a Mother's Day card. So we used the 3D embossing folder, so a tone on tone. And then um, she showed us how we can use those die cuts to um, create this kind of fun fold. So I really like that. It stands up. So really, really nice. Um, and then this was just a second card that I, I had made. I just went ahead and I just did some stenciling while we were waiting for some other things. Um, and so I just did this card kind of separately. And so that one. And then um, I forget who was the next, who was all the, the presenters. But anyways, we, we did this card, really large um, card. So that shows you how big that bloom is. This is a five by seven card and it's still poking out the sides right here. And so I added um, some gems and then I added a bunch of stickles on there to give it a little bit of shine. And then we just did the sentiment right on there. So, and I, and I just used dimension on there, but I really love how that one came out. And then um, we did these two other cards which didn't come out really well. I kind of struggled. I was just, I was honestly cramped for space. It was color blocking. And so, um, but, you know, learn some different te techniques. And so here are the two of the cards that I made um, with that class. I think it's Crystal Wiley. And then um, there's this class right here. And, oh, this was Jennifer McGuire's second class. And so this one was a really fun um, technique using just kind of doing a stained glass style card and so that one um, came out really nicely as well so that was really fun I had a good time um, you know the thing about Ulta New is their products are hit or miss I don't always everything is not always up to my sort of taste I have a lot of florals because of Pink Fresh Studio um, but I know I'm going to keep some of the products and some of them are going to go into a de-stash. I'm going to be doing um, quite a few de-stashes in the next month or so just because I have so much stuff. I have no space for anything. So I do need to clean out my, my crafting stuff with the duplicates I have along with other things. Um, shipping is crazy expensive. So I'm kind of like been saving up my flat rate envelopes as I come in and and so that's like oh I have four flat rate envelopes so I can do four little bundles um to put out because it's just cheaper to do it that way um and that way I can sell everything for you know the cheapest I can to get it out of here so be looking for some destashes of my uh a bunch of the re the retreats that I've done um all the product I didn't want and then I'm going, going to go through everything in my craft room and try and pare down a bit. So be looking for that. Um, and so it'll probably start showing up um, in the next couple of days. And then I'll be doing them as much as I can um, in the summer. So thank you so much for watching. This is Cindy Crank the Heart.